Hi, I'm Lisa Tipton, director of the New York Youth Symphony Chamber Music Program. Hello, I'm Tyler Thomas, assistant director of the Chamber Music Program. Hi, I'm Francesca Ferrara, production manager for the Chamber Music Program. This is the eighth video in the series featuring the extraordinary chamber music of composers from diverse backgrounds. Each session highlights several composers, and today we will share the stories and short sound bites of selections of music by composers from Mexico, Central America, and the Caribbean. Carlos Chavez, Roberta Sierra, Gabriela Ortiz, Silvestri Revueltas, Benjamin Gutierrez, and Paquito de Rivera. Roberto Sierra's career took off in 1987 when the Milwaukee Symphony Orchestra presented the North American premiere of Jubilo at Carnegie Hall. Since then, his works have been performed all over the world. Sierra's style combines progressive compositional methods with folk elements from Puerto Rican and Latin traditions as well as jazz. Sierra was born in Puerto Rico and was trained in both Puerto Rico and in Europe where he studied and worked with Ligeti. Following his studies, Sierra returned to Puerto Rico and wrote the choral work Cantos Populares and his Jubilo. He supported himself by working in two educational administrative posts as Director of Cultural Activities at Puerto Rico University and Chancellor of the Puerto Rico Conservatory of Music. In 2017, he was awarded Spain's highest honor given to Spanish or Latin American composers. He joined the faculty at Cornell University in 1992, and in 2003, he was honored by the American Academy of Arts and Letters for, I quote, his brilliant music mixing fresh and personal melodic lines with sparkling harmonies and striking rhythms. Have a listen. Carlos Chavez was a Mexican composer, conductor, theorist, educator, and journalist. His music combines elements of traditional folk style with modern techniques. At age 16, Chavez completed Sinfonia, his first symphony. Chavez married Otilia Ortiz in 1922 and traveled to Europe and the United States. He lived in New York City from 1926 to 1928, where he developed friendships with Copeland and Verez. In 1928, he founded and became conductor of the Symphony Orchestra of Mexico, and for five years, he was director of the National Conservatory in Mexico. Chavez was inspired by Aztec and Mexican music, as well as by European composers such as Stravinsky and Schoenberg. His music combines elements from both his Mexican roots and modern European compositional techniques. Among his best-known compositions are two early symphonies, both one movement works using indigenous themes, and his opera, The Visitors, which premiered in New York in May 1957. Chavez also published numerous essays on Mexican music, and his Charles Eliot Norton lectures at Harvard University are collected in his book, Musical Thought, published in 1961. Benjamin Gutierrez is a celebrated conductor, composer, and pianist from Costa Rica. At a very young age, he began his musical studies with his grandmother. In 1953, he entered the Conservatory of Music at the University of Costa Rica and continued his musical studies at the New England Conservatory and later in Aspen, Ann Arbor, and finally at the Latin American Center for Music Study in Buenos Aires. His time in Argentina was important. He was inspired by his studies with Ginastera. Some of his works reflect literary influences, including Marianella, which is based on a novel by the Spanish writer Benito Perez Galtos, and a recent work that was dedicated to poet Federico Garcia Loca, 50 years after his death as a victim of the Spanish Civil War. Gutierrez is an admirer of the lyricism of Brahms, and he utilizes different harmonic techniques and polyrhythms that are reminiscent of the music of Bartok. 
who seems to be a key influence on his composition style. Silvestre Revueltas, born in 1899, was a Mexican composer, teacher, and violinist who began violin studies at age eight. He later studied at St. Edward College in Texas and at the Chicago Musical College. Revueltas returned to Mexico to give violin recitals, to teach violin and chamber music at the National Conservatory, and to serve as assistant conductor of Carlos Chavez's orchestra. During this time, Revueltas also became active in the cause of artists and workers' rights. In 1937, he toured Spain as Secretary General of the League of Revolutionary Writers and Artists, supporting the cultural activities of the Loyalist government and directing various concerts while presenting some of his own music. Revueltas returned to Mexico the following year and took up teaching and wrote a half a dozen scores for Mexican films. Unfortunately, Revueltas abused alcohol and died of pneumonia at age 40. He left a wealth of works of differing character that hint at folklore and burst with energy, color, and humor. Have a listen to some of his string quartet number two. Gabriela Ortiz, one of the foremost composers in Mexico today, was born in Mexico City of parents who were folk musicians. She learned folk music at home and went on to study in Paris. She returned to Mexico City due to the illness of her mother and studied composition at the National Conservatory of Music. She continued her studies at the Guildhall School and at the University of London. Her musical style achieves an expressive blend of tradition combined with contemporary rock, African, and Afro-Cuban influences in unique and personal ways. Her compositions are credited for being entertaining as well as profound, and have achieved a balance between organized structure and improvisatory freedom. Her music is commissioned and performed all over the world. After completing her studies, she took a position at the National School of Music at the Universidad Nacional Autónoma de México. Quito de Rivera is a Cuban-American clarinetist, saxophonist, and composer who plays and composes jazz and classical music. The winner of 14 Grammy Awards, he is celebrated for his artistry in Latin jazz as well as his achievements as a classical composer. Born in Havana, Cuba, he studied at the Havana Conservatory of Music, and at the age of 17, he became a featured soloist with the Cuban National Symphony. He was a founding member and co-director of the innovative musical ensemble Irakire. In his passion to bring Latin repertoire to a greater prominence, Paquito de Rivera has created and promoted all types of classical compositions, including his three chamber compositions recorded live in concert with cellist Yo-Yo Ma. His works incorporate Afro-Cuban rhythms and melodies and includes influences from his many travels and his classical music origins. His compositions have earned him honors such as the Guggenheim Fellowship in Music Composition and the 2017 Gogo Molne National Service Award from Chamber of Music America in recognition of Dee Rivera's efforts to inspire the next generation of musicians.
further information about these composers, check out the bottom of the video. You'll find in the description box entire movements as well as other works by each of the composers. And for our next session video, we will highlight composers from the Middle East and Afghanistan. Thank you.